Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Age of Wonders 3. Well, we have Schnog at the pretty kind of on the run, kind of. As far as I can tell, she has this place and this place. And this place? Possibly? I don't think that this extends down to here and then across here. I imagine that this is two different holdings. Uh, we have these armies back up top. I don't think they're going to be able to take on a holding on their own. Uh, after this battle here, though, we should be able to uh, move these two armies further north. We have uh, Frigette, the Frozen, here. She and these two armies are about to take on this southern settlement, and then they may be able to push on uh, up here and meet up with these two armies. So that'll be pretty good. Baradir the Bald uh, declared war on this last episode. Uh, which is a huge problem. He does have Manticore Riders, quite a few of them. I'm sending Tyra Burr and, uh, what's her name again? Tell Nate. I don't think I have ever used her name. Um, they're headed over this direction with a couple of backup armies. Uh, parts of armies, at least. I think this is a full, not quite a full stack. Uh, I don't know if this is enough to deal with Manticore Riders, and in fact, I will seriously doubt it. We're trying to uh, friendly up with Liana, the Huntress. Uh, so far, so good. We're at peace. I'm pretty sure that we have open borders, or at least I've sent her uh, a request for open borders and an offer of open borders, so that's all good. Uh, yeah, let's kick it off with this contest. Of will. We've got two Shadow Stalkers, which we know from the last battle with them are no joke. And we've got this fool. He is a sorcerer. So he's level 7 as well. He's no joke. 30 casting points. His melee strike is pretty powerful. Poison Spit is very powerful. I imagine it triggers once. Yeah. Yeah, Lizard on a stick. So we may be able to pick that up from him if we're able to kill him. High Elf, Forestry, Mounted, Channeler. What does Channeler do? Plus five casting points. Okay. Backstab, Poison Mastery, Fairy Charm. He has a weakness to Blight, and he carries around a uh, lizard on a stick. That's brave. They all have plus one Shocking Strength. Plus one Resistance. Sorcery one. It doesn't tell me what spells he has, though. Uh, he does have backstab from a bandit's dagger. So this guy, he's going to be uh, a pain, but I think we can take him with 12 units. Oh, I didn't realize the uh, amount of health that this flame take was lacking. It's fine, though. We should be able to keep him out of harm's way for the most part. Okay, not wasting any time. I don't blame him. He's trying to attack this upper army. Not sure why. Or if he uh, even knows why. Let's see, let's come up here with the big beetles. I probably should have uh, brought them up closer to the center. Ice scapers. I've never used these guys before, so I don't know if they're good at anything. Uh, we have our dread monkeys. How far can you fling poo? Pretty far. Three, three hexes away. So we can move here or here, and we should be able to still hit them with some poo. Uh, it's disgusting, right? It does 14 damage. Uh, straight shot, so we'd want to be somewhere where this isn't. That's probably why he hid behind it. Let's see, we'd have to move up at least to here, get any kind of a shot on them. 5% dazzled, 2 damage. 
So it's pretty absurd. Let's try over here. That's a little better. It's still pretty absurd. We get a really good hit here. And then we might be able to finish him off with the... With a couple of these other units over here. Not sure. I feel like doing as much damage as we can to these guys is going to be super important, though, because they're really powerful. We're probably going to lose somebody, if not several. Here. Nobody's going to be good to shove in this gap over here. Um, we might be able to tie him down with the bear, but the bear would most certainly die at the end of this combat. Uh, we'd have to find a way to replace it. Man, five to seven. Twenty-one percent of exhausting fatigue on the, uh, retaliation. The bear has frost and blight protection, though, which is nice. Doesn't affect the shocking. Hmm. Man, I might have jumped in here a bit hastily. We'll see. Okay, we have to wait one turn before we can use this. We can't quite reach them from here. Uh, we probably ought to move up, though. Ugh, 24. Melee strike of 24. These guys are so insane. If we run up and try to kill the crows uh, with Binham, he's definitely going to get flanked. And murdered. So I don't think that that's the way we want to go. Got the party robots, but they can heal. So I'm kind of interested in getting that done. A second. Why would you go around this direction and have your back to all of the enemies? I don't quite understand that one. Oh man, if this guy comes into here, any and all of these characters are, are dead. Maybe not totally dead, but within a short amount of time. Okay, let's spread out just a little bit to see if we can spread them out a little bit. Okay, the projectile resistance is really hurting us uh, when it comes to this army because it is so full of projectiles. Uh, if we get up here, we don't have to worry about the line of sight. Actually, we don't have to worry about line of sight from where we are, which is really interesting to me. 100% blight protection. I'll bet these guys have blight protection as well. They don't. I really want to keep my swarm darters. They're really far too valuable to lose. Let's shoot them. Wham. Resisted the severely poisoned. That's fine. Can't quite reach. I don't think the nourishing meal affects machine units. So we can't heal up here. Do we sacrifice the flame tank? I'm pretty sure they have explosive death as well. Where would it tell me that? Yeah, right here. Right at the top. 10 physical and 10 fire damage. Only has 31 health, but 14 protection. It will almost definitely explode this next turn, so we just have to keep that in mind. I think I want to avoid putting anybody right behind them. In fact, I may come around this direction instead with the robots. So we're kind of we're kind of in this army behind it a little bit. Frostscapers can make their move now. 
It's a ranged penalty, but uh, it's some damage. There we go. Resisted. It's fine. Let's actually keep Benham outside of combat here. Uh, he could throw the chicken. I'd like to try to save that for somebody more important. If yeah, It's still only 5% chance of attacking him. Yeah, the resistance is 20 is why we're having such a hard time with these. Hmm. Panic. Target in enemy unit. Plus two defense. First strike. And the pull arm ability. Two times the normal bonus to defense and resistance when guarding. Plus five physical strength. Overwhelm and strong will. I think overwhelm is used against uh, shielded enemies. Phoenix warrior. They get resurgence. I might have to cast this on each of us. I don't know. Root Spears. Hornet Swarm is nice. Uh, it's... It's, uh, this kind of damage. Blight. He has Blight Weakness. But it's still only... 8 to 12. And they can't be affected somehow if I attack him. It's the same. You know, vice versa. Feral Mounts for 3 turns. We could try to get him. 10% chance, though. I don't like that. What have we got here again? A force field? Cardinal Culling. Oh man. I think this is going to save save us with these guys. I think I have very little choice but to cast this. I should have done that before we started uh, combat and stuff. So now we would get 9 to 14 against him. They're still going to have such a huge advantage. Do we tank the first attack with the Dire Bear? I think we do. He was a free unit. He's going to hold this guy down. Uh, this guy will be tempted to attack if he survives the first attack from this guy. Uh, he will be tempted to flank. Unless they flank and kill him. I don't know. We'll, we'll do it. I need to... Uh, just start fighting. Stop questioning things. He did get exhausted fatigue with like a 20% chance, which is absurd. Greater webbing touch, I don't think... Yeah, incorporeal units are not affected, which he is. Fire pistol at a 15. Longbow is an 8, but it triggers 3 times. We can actually hit him from here. 1 to 3 times 3. This is a 4 to 5. It would be a 8 to 10. So it would still be better damage than the longbow. We can't cast a spell because that's already been done. How much effort would it take them to get around him? Not much. If I post up here uh, and he dies to these two, he'll easily get around, be able to attack Zor 3. Not to mention this guy can come along and attack from in there. So how much closer do we have to get? This would be out of range of everyone else. And I think this would be in range. Yeah, but now we have the line of sight penalty for some reason. When we didn't. Over here. Oh, that's a huge pain. Okay, we're going into range then. Six to nine. Nine. Awesome. We got our max damage there. Uh, How much... 100% Blight Protection. So I don't think throwing the filth at them is going to be very effective. Okay, let's run up here. These guys. Yep. Two to four. Wham! Good. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and now we have nothing else. Heavy Crossbow at a six to nine. Five to eight. So let's shoot him with this. Do we want to get closer? We'll be in range. He's in range, so we might as well. Get a critical, if you would. Nope. So two health left. They're still going to be able to do some damage to us. Nothing. Nothing. 
Oh, you know what? The big beetles can shoot uh, guns. So do that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Is that only uh, useful once per combat? Oh no, cooldown of one turn. Okay. I didn't know if... Uh, I didn't see a reload skill, and so I didn't know if they were going to be capable of uh, using that again. Okay. Let's see what horror awaits us. Dire bear, no! Oh, he's guarded. Okay, he's coming over here now. Flank attack on the big beetles. Yep, dire bear is taking it to the face. He's doing well, though. We may come out of this uh, very alive, as a matter of fact. Let's see. Every little bit helps, and this might turn him around as well. It did. Three to four. What kind of a... We're not quite going to kill him here, but he doesn't get to retaliate either. 35% that we panic the bear. Hmm. He has some pretty good defense there. We can't throw our filth anymore. Two turns. What is this spray? I feel like if we post up right here next to this guy, we should be able to hit both of them without hitting the bear. If we stand here. Let's switch this off before I misclick. Uh, and he should be able to get right here and torch this fool. Or here, even. Let's go around this direction. 18 to 26. What are we looking at here? 13 to 20. So this is the one. Nice. Flame throwing. What about the uh, ice scapers? Does this trigger three times or just once? Just once, apparently. Does he have frost protection? I bet he does, right? Yeah, 100%. And this is half frost attack. If we war cry, that gives us plus three. We've got a flanking charge. And it's looking like 14 to 22, 15 to 24. So that's only about half what we need to kill him. That puts Bin him in some pretty serious. Seriously dangerous situation there. We've got retaliation times three here. Of 12 to 21 times three. Ouch. So they would probably be dead. And we still have this madness over here as well. Okay. Guard breaker. He has guard breaker, I think. They have shock weakness, my robots do. Uh, I really want to see if my theory is correct, because see if we look at it right. Hmm. Oh, I think it would get him. Okay. So if we moved here, it would be one, two, three. And then it would get the bear and the other guy. Yeah. I don't think we can avoid getting the bear. Now that I look at it again. I wish I could uh, turn off the these things so that I could see a little bit better. It spreads out by three and then by five. So if we're sitting here, it would be three, and then five. Yeah, it would still hit the bear, no matter where we go. That's rough. That's rough. Uh, we could ram this guy. 14 to 22. 
It doesn't look like he gets a retaliation, even though it doesn't look like it's necessarily a uh, flank. Now, why isn't it registering a retaliation? I'm not sure. If we come around here, it's... Oh, no, he's guarded. That's why. 20. That's pretty good. I can accept that for sure. 9 to 14 flanking. And we only get one attack with this guy. So let's go ahead and attack first. Now maybe we can use the jesters to finish him off. That would be hilarious. Please don't roll a 6. Perfect. Perfect. Resisted the, the fireworks. Right? For the bear? No. He is dazzled. He's got exhausting fatigue and he's dazzled. Okay. That's going to have to be fine for right now. Fourteen to twenty. Let's take him down a notch here. He resisted the poison every time. Sad. Twenty-six health he's got now. That's still only eight to thirteen. If we bring the monkeys around this way. No, because he's guarded. I keep forgetting that. I'm not sure how. Uh, let's do it anyway. Okay, we'll get one attack on him. Man, his retaliation is insane, though. How do we have sprint? Oh, sprint. I, I saw it and I thought it was phase. Attacks of opportunity are avoided, so I should have done that to bring them around uh, this direction. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay, we have a couple of uh, better attacks than what he has. Fire aura, light protection. We might be able to web him 50%. I don't know that that's worth it. He's only got 20 health left. So this could kill him right here. Let's give this a go. Wham. Dead. Perfect. Okay, so they can throw filth at this guy next turn. Uh, swarm darters went. They went. All of these guys have gone. Frostscapers. You're not worthless to me, but man, it's hard to uh, find a use for you. Wham. Flanking projectile. Uh, yeah, we'll run up here. There's some kind of... The filth is still around here from when the monkeys threw the poo at the birds. I think the monkeys are giving off filth themselves. Yeah, the stench. I don't think that's going to affect the shadow walkers. Man, I'm surprised we've made it this far. Uh, man. The retaliation isn't that bad, because we have martial arts. No, no, martial arts helps us uh, when we retaliate, doesn't it? Am I reading that wrong? Oh yeah, plus five defense bonus against attacks of opportunity and retaliation, so that does help us when he's retaliating. He's got 45, we're doing 15 to 22. That's half of his health. And we've got three attacks here. So if we attack him with Binham first, that retaliation is going to use uh, some of the Shadow Stalker's action points. And then when the Big Beetles attacks, he won't have as many retaliations against them. So I think this is the way we go. Of course, we're going to war cry first and head in. Wham. Okay. That hurt, but it wasn't that bad. We've got 28 left, and we get 30, or I mean, yeah, up to 30 damage. So if we roll minimum, he's still going to be pretty well damaged. We're going to take... Man. We're going to take at least half of our health in damage. Good. We didn't roll minimum. Every time. Okay. Man, I wish there was something I could do. Uh, because... 
These guys don't have first strike, do they? Fast healing, but that's only if they survive. Uh, and Benham went, so we can't cast Resurgence on them. Plus 10 damage. Did I already use this guy? Yeah. I use this guy as well. Yeah, we can't get anywhere uh, if we use that. Oh no! I've activated it! Oh no! That's lame. That's really lame. Three turn cooldown. Oh, I activated it without knowing. Okay, somebody's gonna die here. I just can't imagine who it's gonna be. Uh, unless he has no more moves. 19, 18. Yeah, unless he has no more movement on his next turn, we're gonna die. Oh! Oh! Who do we give it to? Benham, do you want it? I'd say you probably do. It's a guaranteed kill. Nice, leveled up. We didn't lose anybody! That amazes me. I was sure those Shadow Stalkers were gonna team up and murder one of my folks. Uh, the Goblin Big Beetle got close though. He was almost dead. I was terribly worried about the dire bear, but it survived as well. So, magical. Uh, here. Here is the stuff. Tigran Sandals of Speed. That's going to be pretty hardcore, especially with his uh, charge, war cry, and all that. Shield of Spiritual Faith. Man, Benham, you are the victor. You get most of the spoils. We already have a bandit's dagger on somebody. Lightning Wands. And an upgrade. When a unit with Warrior's Honor dies in combat, all units owned by the same player... By the same player. This doesn't necessarily have to be in this army. So if we attack with three different stacks... Aha! Uh, only, only the blood honor only applies to the characters in this hero's army. But if one of the, one of them dies, then all of the units owned by me gain morale. That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's actually more powerful than I had first assumed. Bleeding wounds would be pretty nice. Friendly target units' movement and action points are replenished upon killing an enemy. That's pretty cool, actually. Plus one melee strength. This unit is able to climb walls. Melee command is sounding pretty good. Steadfast for two turns. Prevents a unit's health from dropping below one. He only has 15 uh, casting points, though. So. Oh, man. Okay. This is a tough choice here. I really like the bleeding wounds. I think I I think I have to go for that because that does damage uh, over time, and that's really important to me. Dragon and Giant Slayer is not important to me. Uh, protection would be kind of nice to have. It would be better if it was Blight protection. We already have at forty percent, so that's pretty good. Yeah, because we have Monster Slayer too, which is nice. First strike, pull arm. That's from our weapon. Man, this blood honor is still available. Plus 100 morale. It doesn't sound like a lot, and to be completely honest, it really isn't. Uh, ooh, seven turns left if leader has fallen. Uh, but since it stacks all the time with different other conditions, it could still help. 
I don't know if it stacks, um, also, like, if if this whole army got wiped, I don't know if that would give them plus 600 morale, which would be kind of lame. Because I totally wouldn't be tempted just to kill off my armies. I would just throw a bunch of useless units in his army and send them in first. Uh, give all my other guys a morale boost and then send them in second. That would be kind of cheaty. I'm not totally tempted to do this. Um, we needed to disperse goodies. So let's see how we want to do this. Wow, you should totally wear that on you. I didn't realize that she wasn't. Okay, Tyre Burr and uh, Telne. Nobody needs the bandit dagger because everybody has a really good weapon. He could go for a couple of of goodies. Poison spit. No, I think we will. Uh, poison spit can go to him. Yeah, and one of these as well. Go to him. Spear of Justice, first strike pull arm, plus four, plus one melee, plus one fire, plus one spirit. So this is way better. I don't think anybody has a worse weapon than that. Because this gives the backstab, which is pretty good if we can get into a flanking position. This is pretty incredible. Oh, Frigget doesn't have anything. She has a plus two damage on armored. So plus three against armor. Uh, let's send this to Frigget. The backstab. I like first strike. Uh, let's send first strike to Frigette, and we could probably even just sell this, right? 20 gold, 5. Sack on the ground. Let's just hang on to it for now. That'll be fine. Okay. So this has been resolved. Uh, we're gonna absorb, always. Are we researching, or have we researched the... The thing that takes that half as long to happen. Did I ever check that out? We must have, because I don't see it. What is this? Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's for the whole battlefield, I remember. Mana negating field doubles the mana and casting cost of spells. We're close to possibly needing Invention 3. Man, that would be nice to have, but it's so expensive. Okay, they can't move. Uh, they can only move in the woods, so we're fine there. These guys are so far away from any sort of trouble. I kind of want to keep them around uh, back here just in case anything crops up. Because occasionally there are those... Uh, what is this? The strategic map? Campaign map? Events? Where enemies will just spawn? And it's the worst? So I hesitate to take them anywhere. Let's grab these berries and we'll head to uh, the main town. 
we will post up there and wait for further instructions. Okay, let's come up to the edge. Can we see in? Cool. Castle of the Lich King. Yeah, let's move these up as one. Let's see if they could go here. I just want to see the town. It's pretty far in there. Okay, do not go inside. I don't care what you say. Do not go inside. Five, five, we can move up one more with them. Nice. Okay, still no eyes inside the city, uh, which is a little concerning, but we'll get there. Okay, they've already done their move. Bunch of halflings up here, I wonder if they would care to join us. Uh, were there not some independents down here I was going to squash on my way over? It doesn't look like it, to be honest. I wish we could just buy uh, units from an inn if we've already explored it. That would be really nice. It would be a little bit overpowered, though, at the same time, so I understand why it's not a thing. Alright, let's keep these armies together, then. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these guys. They have another unit coming in, don't they? Yeah, another flame tank in two turns. So you're actually going to head up here... Uh, to where these guys are. Are there any haste berries along your way? No. Alright. Oh. I forgot about these guys. Yeah, camp there. We've got three guardians coming up. This will unlock the matriarch. Let's go with that after. Assuming we survive that long. Because if Baradir does attack us, he's probably going to go where we're weak, and that's up in uh, the central area. Can we explore this already? Yeah. That one's explored. Uh, we didn't do that one, though. Baradir did that one, I'm sure. Oh! He's alive! Where was his army at? Was it up here? Was it the, uh... It's this flame tank up here, isn't it? These guys. This was Koth's army, for sure. So we need to have him meet up with them. Uh, eventually. Man. What a long turn. What a long battle against those, uh, those guys. Bunch of items arrived. Danilin has a Master's Guild now. What's next? The Bell Tower. Shnaga has won a battle. Uh-oh. Attacked Independence with a Toadstool, Shadowstalker, and Igor the Cannibal. A Necromancer? That's hilarious. And Necromancers are so powerful. That's definitely one that I want to uh, play soon. Level 9. Wow. Look at all the protections he has, too. This physical damage and shock are the only things that uh, we can use against him effectively. Wetland foraging? Oh wow! Goblin uh, racial trait? Man, very powerful. Okay, so we want to beware Absorbing uh, two turns left for that. Fine. You guys could probably do well uh, by joining forces. So actually... Retreat! Run away! Oh, I see. There's a mountain right there. A huge 
enormous, gigantic, towering mountain right there. See? Right there. Oh, we've got levels for Zorthy, the fire tamer. Wonderful. Ancestral spirits are great. I love that. Anything that'll give us extra units on the battlefield is wonderful. Entangling touch. He already has the webbing touch. Greater webbing touch, as a matter of fact. From the hunter spider. 14 defense. This doesn't say. Okay. Natural healer. Is that just for the all units in the army? Okay. So that's really nice. Nourishing meal is good. Revitalize. How does this work? 50% of the movement is restored. Savage rage is nice. Spirit of the land is not going to come in useful, I don't think. Vengeful vines. Uh, druidry. He has 25. Level 8, eh? What other spells does he have, though? I don't think we can see that through here. I think we have to go through... Uh, yeah. Root Spears Revive and Hornet Swarm. I should remember that from this past battle. Oh, yes! Yes! She accepted. Good. Wonderful. So, uh, you want to do any more business? We're at peace, and she's incredibly happy. Oh no, this is what I want to look at. Empire Relations Friendly, 600. Because, uh, plus 200 because she's good. 150 for the peace treaty, 50 for the borders. 50 for her borders. Lena opened his borders. Ha 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 ha. Ha, huh, maybe it is a dude, I don't know. She looks very feminine to me. You declared war on an enemy of theirs. Yes, 15 turns left. Okay, and she's got to be at war with him by now, right? No contact. They haven't met yet. Okay, so we got an evil modifier for declaring war, but um, she liked it because she was at war with them simultaneously. So we have really good relations with her. I wonder if she's going to be interested in an alliance. Overjoyed with the new peace treater. That's good. I wonder if she allies with me if she's automatically going to be at war with Baradir. The bolt. They're getting up there pretty close, uh, so let's join them. I know we're still absorbing, but I don't think that they can revolt uh, just by us leaving the area. I'd love to have this, actually. How much movement do y'all still have? Mm. I need to get an engineer in here so that we can fix up the the flame tank. I don't think there's any other way to do it. Because I don't think I can just cast, uh, cast the thing. Yeah, reassemble. I can't just cast this to heal a friendly unit. So I'd have to put an engineer into this army to get that fixed up, I think. She still has independent armies inside her territory. What is this? A shrine to the Scarlet Destroyer plus 10 knowledge? Man, I would have that in a heartbeat. Knowledge is everything. Because the more technology you can research, the faster you can research it, the better. You guys still have movement point? Oh, that's right. This is all a new turn. Holy cow. Okay. Let's inch up then, and let's see what she's got. That's her. Ooh. Feathered Serpent? Are you kidding me? Healing. Sprint. Those things are harsh. Knights are pretty bad, too. Black Knights are worse than regular cavalry, though. Oh, man. Oh, Grimby Crows. 
Oh no, not the crows. Yeah, I figured she had a couple of stacks here. A unicorn? How dare you. Morale worst. Negative 1,125 morale. I wonder if they would join us if we were able to... to convert them. Do they have mind control immunity? No. Uh, does it count as an animal? It's fey. So I'm not sure if I would awaken spirit or how that would work exactly. Each combat round inflicts damage. Okay, spell integrity of 200. Good grief. Can you please not? 30% chance. I can't... I can't uh, destruct this one somehow. So she still has corpse looting, iron grip, poison mastery. Thirty percent chance for this one too. Uh, Seventy casting points as well, and that's with greater disjunction. I'm not sure how uh, she's become that powerful as far as spell casting and stuff. Okay, let's get these guys up here to reinforce. Uh, wait a second. Is that all, by the way? Yes. Okay. I'm not sure if this is the best formation. Should they be here? They should probably be here. So that if they attack this army or this army, they'll be backing them up. This should be a uh, correct formation. They've moved all they can move this turn. Okay. Yep. Y'all are fine here. Wait, how much closer can we get without attacking? Because I'd rather they sally forth and attack us if they have the Cow Jones. But if they don't, we'll just post up here and await their arrival. Alright, Cuff. I don't think I have the patience to get you all the way up there. We'll see. You're headed to that place. Come up here instead. Oh, here he is. Here he is. You ready, the spell stealer? And he is trying to head through the center here, where we don't have armies. How far up can you get? Yep, we're gonna try and hit him off at the pass. Please tell me that you can fit right in here. Perfect. He's got four dudes. It is three Manticore riders, though, which are insane. Y'all are hanging out. Oh yes, please, please come up here and reinforce. Yep. Y'all are welcome to continue on your journey to the center. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this episode then. If you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.